What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs. And as you can see here, I got a big box. Um, I got a box. I'm excited to uh, show you guys what it is. So let's get to it. So, I have been waiting to get this, M move this out of the way for a bit, <laughs> so I have been waiting to get this for a while, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to stop talking, I'm going to open up the box, and let's see what is in here, put on the chair so y'all can see it. go ho, 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 ho. guys Guys, check this out. Alright, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the uh, ring there, it's my light. Um, so, here we go. Guys, look at that. I literally just opened up the box as you guys saw um but let me go ahead and tell you what this is come on a little closer so this is the new team associated um rival mt10 as you guys can see rival mt10 110 scale ready to run for a drive truck um you can run this thing with a uh, 2S, 3S LiPo. This thing is brushless powered, ready to run. Um, apparently, it also includes LEDs like you see right here. Uh, let's turn this thing around. So here you got your, uh, your brushless ESC, four millimeter heavy duty uh, adjustable steel uh, turnbuckles um, the shocks are oil filled uh, you have a Reedy 3300 kV brushless motor um, adjustable wheelie bar um, you get um, sealed gear differentials and uh, as you guys can see right there you got lights you got lights so I mean, guys, this thing looks uh, looks badass just in the box. <laughs> so let's go on ahead and uh, open this thing up. Now, if anybody is, hey, how you doing? If anybody's wondering about the specs on this thing, it will actually tell you right here. If you guys want to pause it, check that out. So let's, let's get this thing out of the box, shall we? Let's just get it out of the box. Uh, I'm... I'm I know you guys don't want to hear me talking about it. You guys just want me to get it out of the box. So let's get it out of the box. I gotta bring you guys over. We gotta celebrate this together. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I'm just so stoked. I'm really stoked about this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need two hands here. If I can get this damn thing out of the box. Right. 
got. So you have your instruction manual here. And let's see what else we got in the box. There's a box in a box. Let's check out what's in the other box that's in the box. All right, guys. So let's move this box out of the way. All right, guys. So before we get back to the truck, let's check out what's in this box that was in that box. Box in a box. <laughs> All right, so in this box here, we have, that's it. Move that box out of the way. Put that box in the other box. All right, so. Gotta love these things. All right, so here we have our um, Team Associated XP120 controller. Uh, this thing is light. You do have to supply four AA batteries. As you guys can see right there, you have to supply four AA batteries. Um, it's nice. You have your, steering, your wheel right here. You got your fake little uh, rotor, brake caliper. It's a nice feeling here. Um, you have your trim throttle trim level, steering trim level. Um, you have your throttle and your steering. You have your throttle and your steering uh, setups. And you have an indication right there. Whoa, there you go. You have an indication right there where the... Uh, I guess the batteries, when the batteries start getting low, it'll uh, tell you where, uh, what the, um, it'll tell you, same will tell you. So let's move that out of the way. You do get, in the box, you also get Team Associated Instruction Manual. So let's go ahead and open that up. Place kind of dull. Because I want to see what else is in this bag. And I want to show you guys what else is in this bag. Alright, so you get some... Uh, <laughs> you get some Allen keys in here. Uh, you have... Um, some papers, papers, papers. Alright, so you have the owner's manual for the um, SC600BL. I'm guessing sensorless, brushless ESC. Uh, so this thing actually tells you. So it does have a lipo low voltage cutoff protection, lipo cell auto detect, um, fully proportional brakes, durable case with aluminum heat sink, pre wired cooling fan. It's water resistant, not waterproof. Guys guys it's not waterproof it is water resistant so can you splash it through some water yeah you can splash it through some water um shouldn't be an issue i don't plan on running this thing through water at all so i don't think i will have an issue at all um so of course it comes with a t-plug and uh, 3.5 millimeter motor connectors, if anybody's interested in that. Uh, the, the limit for the motor, so this basically, this ESC can take a 2S LiPo and a 3S LiPo. And of course, nickel metal hydrides. So any nickel metal hydrides, and that's for the motor, it can take it. Now, can the ESC take it? Yeah. So, again, this thing is 3S LiPo capable. And now, in your instruction manual here, this thing pretty much tells you, uh, look at that. Basically tells you everything you need right here. You got your screws, you got your bearings all the way over there. My finger won't reach right over there. Sorry, not trying to give you all the finger. But right over there, y'all got where the uh, the size of the bearings that you need, the lock nuts, the sockets, everything. This thing tells you everything, guys. Look at that. 
it actually tells you how to put this thing together. Check that out. I'm not going to flip through every page, but look, it actually shows you how to put it together. So if you guys have any issues and you want to fix something, it brings an instruction manual that tells you exactly what part you need, where it goes, and how to do it. So very good with uh, Team Associated sending this out with the, uh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> with the MT-10. I always call it the RMT. Probably is the RMT because it's a rival MT-10. Um, so let's put this back in the bag and throw it in the box where the other box is at. So put that in the box. Put that in the box. Now, onto the big one. So this plastic was already kind of hanging off. Guys, this thing looks sick. Come on closer. Sick. All right, so here we go. So if you kind of look at the front of it, if you look at those headlights, they kind of look like Chevy headlights. Look at that, you got your turnbuckle right there. Um, the body looks nice, I, I, I do like the body on it. And this thing is light, it's not, it's not that heavy. So this thing is not that heavy. Um, there will be a link in the description below where you can pick this up. Uh, how much it costs, which everybody knows it costs like $309.99, like $310. Um, it's a little more expensive than anybody that has gotten the Mavericks. Uh, from what I've seen with this, I haven't really seen many videos on this thing. So I saw a video and it kind of took the beating kind of very well. And I'm like, you know what? For the cheaper version of, uh, of RC, um, you know, th this is doesn't seem too bad. Uh, let's take the body off. You got four body clips here. Four body posts. Pins don't want to come off. That's how new this thing is. All right. Body's off. And guys, as soon as you open it up, very first thing that I saw, which to me is badass, that Team Associated sent out with this thing. And for you guys, you're going to be stoked. <laughs> Um, I think it's a really nice feature that uh, I don't know if many RC companies are sending a sending them out with it, um, but Team Associated sent out. I gotta show you. So check this out. So, so check this out, guys. They sent a net that you put over everything to keep the dust and everything to keep the dust and everything out from inside here. Which to me, that is awesome. That is badass. Um, so let's go over what we got. So we already know we have a Reedy Power 3300 KV motor, um, a nice metal trans uh, motor mount here. We have our SC600 brushless motor, ESC. Um, servo doesn't really say what type what type of servo it is. It's probably like a Team Associated turbo. Turbo, yeah, <laughs> servo. Um, you have your cover for the controller and everything. There was something else that I wanted to show you guys that came with this. Here we go. So it also brought this little thing right there. See if you guys can see that. See if you guys can see that. So it brought this. I'm thinking it's something for the ESC, so you can uh, do something or other. 
I don't know. But, hey. Whatever. It came with it. I'll figure out what it is. Now, the shocks on this thing look kind of beefy. The springs are nice and... Ooh, the smell of new. The smell of new is nice. Um, anyway. So, you do have in the back here, I don't know if you guys can see, right here, this shiny thing right there. That is a sway bar. Which I find awesome. <laughs> I find it really, really awesome that uh, Team Associated put a sway bar in the front also. You got So you got right there where my finger is at. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, my finger is covering it. So there's a sway bar up here and a sway bar down here. I'm a car guy. So if I'm saying that piece wrong, please correct me in the comments. Uh, but to me, that's a sway bar. Like a real car. That's a sway bar. So the wheelie bar here, it is adjustable. As you guys can see right there, you got one, two, three, four, five holes of adjustment. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this thing in stock form. Can't run it tonight. It is actually like 10 o'clock at night right now. So I'm not going to run it out tonight. I'm going to put it out when, um, I'm going to put it out, take it out when it's daytime. So you guys can actually see what everything is. So. This thing looks uh, beefy. If, <laughs> just check this out. I just saw this. So if you look under here, right there, they have a makeshift exhaust pipe on both sides. That's kind of that's kind of cool. So there you go. You got a makeshift exhaust pipe right there, which is which is kind of cool. Um, the fact that the steering link is on the bottom right there so right on the bottom here guys you have your servo horn is coming out right there connected to your servo thing right here forget what that's called and then your turning mechanism I don't know how I'm gonna like that with bashing um, so, yeah, for you guys that have seen my videos and have seen my uh, Maverick Quantum Flux, now that I got this thing, and I won't be without an RC to have some fun, well, I got my crawlers and everything, but I want something like this, there is a video going to be coming out, and I am going to bash the hell out of that Maverick Quantum that I have. Um, I still have yet to order body post on that. Uh, so keep an eye out. There is a video going to come out for that. But right now, we're talking about this bad boy. Um, I just want to check out what is... All right, all the wiring's in there and everything. So for $309... You guys, I'm going to put a link in the description down below where I picked this up at. Uh, I got it from uh, HobbyRecreationProducts.com. Again, I'll have a link in the description down below. You guys go check them out. They have a whole bunch of stuff, man. Let me tell you. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I picked this up from them. That's where I got my last RC, and I can tell you I am happy with them. Um... Hopefully, this will be good. <laughs> um, so far that I've seen, this thing can handle itself pretty damn well. Uh, will it handle? How will, will it handle? Um, we will find out. The um, We will definitely find out how it will handle. So the other thing I noticed here is on the front... You have suspension adjustment right there. Ooh. All right, so right up here, you have suspension adjustment. So you can turn it in one or you can go out more. So 
that will actually raise up the truck here or lower the truck here. I think I'm gonna move it here and on this side to raise it up. The other thing I'm looking at is it looks like, which is a nice thing that a lot of RC companies are doing now. Okay. I was wrong. So I'm looking at the lower arms and it kind of, if you guys look at the lower ones, yeah, let me do this. There you go. So if you guys happen to look at the lower arms on the front and on the rear, they kind of sort of look alike until you get to in here. The front here where it's connected to the knuckle is a lot wider than right there. So these two right here, right there, there you go. So these two right here are shorter on the back than here on the front. So uh, just so you guys know, <clears throat> these knuckles, I mean, I'm sorry, these lower arms are not interchangeable front to rear. Now on the top, they have turnbuckles so you can actually adjust your wheel, basically. I forget what it's car, called, car terms. I, I have a brain fart right now. So on the front, it looks like you have, let me put these back down, because that'll cover the lights. So on the front, it looks like you will have white LEDs, and in the rear, you have red LEDs like you see back there. So there you have it, guys. I am amped about taking this thing out. Uh, I do want to mention something else. So in my last video, I ran my, uh, I think it was my last video. My last video, I ran my Maverick Quantum Flux and the battery didn't last long. I thought the battery was starting to take a crapper, but no, I ended up finding out what I did. So when I went to charge the battery, uh, since I have a 5200 mAh LiPo 2S battery, uh, when I went to charge it, I didn't never change the amperage to 5.2 amps. I left them at 0.7 because I always unplug my charger and I plug it back in and it basically resets itself. So I never readjusted it for the 5.2 amps. Um, well, the other day, I charged it with the 5.2 amps and it charged, fully charged. And uh, I actually took out my rally car, broke that, which there's a video gonna be coming out for that. Um, the front knuckles broke because it's old. So it broke. Anyway, <laughs> so they broke and uh, actually just the driver's side broke. So I have front knuckles, front steering knuckles coming for that. Check out that video that's going to be coming out. I just realized another thing that I didn't talk about with this and I, as I'm looking at it are the wheels. So these are not... They are not beadlocks. That's what I meant to say. They're not beadlocks. So these are glue-on wheels. The tires, it actually says on here, 4.70 by 2 and 3 quarter. 2.75. So anybody that wants to be specific. 4.70 by 2.75. And these wheels kind of look badass. What I'm going to do with these wheels... I want to try them out on the Maverick and see how that works. And I want to try the Maverick wheels on this one to see how that works. I like trying different things. Um, the chassis on this thing looks pretty good. The tub on this, um, I like how it just, I can slam it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely putting a 3S on this bad boy. <laughs> slowly, slowly but surely, I'm going to be on 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S. 
slowly but surely guys I mean as long as you guys keep watching my videos subscribing liking my videos you know I will keep doing this for you guys and just go to town um, again you have your Dean's plug which my batteries my lipos are uh, Dean's plugs so far I haven't had to change them uh, the only car I've that has a Dean's plug is now my rally car and the Maverick. So, uh, the other thing I'm looking at is where the on off switch is. Alright, so the on off switch, you'll be able to basically lift up the body, turn on the on off switch, and uh, you'll be good to go. So, guys, guys, there is a video going to be coming out with this bad boy out on the road testing it out not beating it yet because I have stuff that I want to do with it uh, the one of the things is <clears throat> if you guys haven't uh, I haven't told you guys but my last run I went to go do a, uh, a speed run with the my rally car and that thing broke um, hit the curb slid hit the curb and it broke the steering knuckle so I got a X a, a, whatever X O S S socks I guess you would say uh, anyway <laughs> got a socks GPS um, so for you guys that are actually looking to get a GPS for your RCs and you don't know not that you don't know but you know those other ones that you see a lot of guys using they're a little more on the expensive side guys I picked this up actually got it off of Amazon it's for a bicycle but it's GPS you can see the speedometer on there they actually this company actually has an app that you can uh, add to your phone I picked this up off of Amazon I believe it was $39.99, like 40 bucks or 30, 30 or 40 bucks. I don't remember what it is. I'll put a description in the I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out. Um, and I'll put a link in the description where you guys can get this team associated rival MT10. And if you guys stick around for my next video, we are will be taking this out giving it a speed run and um, all that good mamma jamma so guys girls ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching hit that like button subscribe help me out so I can put more content out for you guys um, and so we can all have some fun with RC's so stay tuned keep watching keep our saying you guys have a good one